Hey man, what's happening? What's up, brother? This is my man Dominic with KarateMart.com, and he's a former state champion wrestler. Yes, sir. In what state? Illinois. Illinois. What weight? Heavyweight. Oh man, I was a 135 pounder my senior year. I used to wrestle little guys like you. <laughs> I'm 200 pounds now, but back in the day. So you're still a pretty big guy. Yeah. And uh, you got a couple moves you're gonna show, like single leg and double leg. Yes, sir. Okay, show me the single first. Let's see how you do it. Good and back. So you're getting the single. And then how are you finishing it? Just a single right leg hook beneath his left leg. Let's see it one, we'll see it one more time. Good, nice finish. You also had a double leg. Yes, sir. How do you want to show this one? It's basically just a spear. Okay, let's see it. Oh, and then I got the 240 pounds coming down on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> and you also had a way to dump it. Yes, sir. Right, let's see that one. Oh, oh good. Very nice. That's a scary one because I'm airborne. For my students who don't have a wrestling background or a ground fighting background but they want to do kung fu, I teach all of them to be comfortable being on top or being on bottom on the ground. And so one of the ways we can defend our legs against the single double leg shot from Dominic is the old football wrestling drill to get those legs going like this. So right now wherever you're at, get up and get it going. I want to hear your voice trembling just like mine is. And then when I say go, you're going to suck your legs back, sprawl back and hit the ground with the belly and the arms. And back up again. All right, let's do five of these. Here we go. 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 Two more. Go. Go. That is going to be crucially important so that when Dominic shoots in on me, I can get my body, my torso, into his body and my legs away from him so I'm not a sitting duck. When he comes in for that shot, he had a really good forward momentum going, so I don't want to grab him over the top. I hate that. I also don't want to let him get me on my butt, so I've got to sprawl my legs back and push my chest forward and get my 200 pounds on his body and try to pancake him down to the floor. Now once he's down, if we were actually in a tournament, we can keep going. From the street, I'm going to push away, create separation and get out of there. One more time, the double leg comes in, body weight forward, sprawl back, smash them down, create separation, and get up. What I want you guys to practice is when he comes in, drop your body weight forward and meet his force head on with your chest. And this hand is right underneath, blocking him from getting a good tight grip on your leg. I'm either under his chin or his face. Face is better. And when you push your chest in, I want you guys to lift his nose up. In martial arts and kung fu, we call it ridge hand. So when I'm throwing a ridge hand against the bag, I'm not always thinking about striking. I'm thinking about blocking Dominic's double leg or single leg takedown. So once again, we got that single leg going on. Weight goes forward, hand slips in. I'm blocking him and now, even though he's bigger and stronger than me, it's uncomfortable, isn't it? Hell yeah. So it makes us fight and if I can keep my legs sucking back while my arm lifts his nose up, I can create some separation and neutralize his shot. Now if we were in an actual wrestling match, we would just keep going. Exactly. But on the street, my goal is to neutralize and get the heck out of there. So it'd be, the shot comes in, sink it down, get the... And get the hand right by his face. Get your leg back. Ridge hand him up and get out of there. Oh. And the last one was he's going to try to double leg me, pick me up, and dump me off. When he does the same thing, I get my arm in the way right by his nose. I got this hand over his arm and I'm gonna start circling, putting pressure on his face, jaw, or nose. And I keep circling, circling, circling 
and hopefully I can throw them using the nose and the face as my leverage and then get out. One more time he comes in, I get my arm in there, block him. I got over top of the arm trapped, which you guys can't see, but I assure you it's over the top here. Circle, use the nose as leverage, throw him back and get out. Hey, I want to say thank you to Dominic for lending your body and your skills Definitely, for this video. My pleasure. Check him out at KarateMark.com. All the links to get to the site are down below in the description and comments. And would you have any closing words for those people out there that want to do some ground fighting? Stay active in it, man. Don't lose what you love to do. You know, keep going at it. If you love wrestling, mixed martial arts, stay in it. Don't lose that. Don't lose that love for it. No matter what style you're doing. No matter what style. That's great advice. Listen to the man. Stay champion. Sir. When you guys are done, hopefully you're still friends and you can maybe scuffle out a little bit and do some. See if you can get the. <laughs> How many knotted up eyebrows have you had? And knotted up eyebrows, cauliflower ear. You have a drain before? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man. Because your ears look pretty good. <laughs> Thank you.